What's up, Okraheads? Halo Okraheads here. We are doing the Queen Walk Baby Dragon. Now, I know, uh, I think Powerbang put this video out, but he went up against not a max based. It was actually uh, Town Hall 10, barely. Not even close to max. This is maxed out base. Now, it did take him a number of tries to get this, but what I found, if you're going to use this strategy, it's only going to work on certain bases. One, you have to, your queen or kill squad is going to have to take down three air defenses for this to work. That first raid, I'm going to show you a bunch of fails and then the success, so stick in there with me. So when you do the queen walk, you have to take a base on that has exposed air defenses. This will not work on all bases, so don't get this in your mind. Very particular bases for this to occur, and you you really have to get fortunate and let her walk. Time is always going to be an issue because you have to let the queen walk a long time before you get this uh, ray down. And it took him, I would say, eight tries, maybe uh, seven or eight tries um, to get the three star. I'm not going to show you all of them; just showing you a number of high percentages here on this base and of course I think they work well against these anti-bowler bases or these island bases because usually on the island bases what happens is your air defenses tend to be a little more exposed I've noticed on island bases uh, for the most part there are certain bases that don't work that way so again you really have to let the queen walk a long time she has to take care of the clan castle hopefully and at least two or three air defenses now the king is going to get one of the air defenses down and then the queen is really going to help and take out that um, last air def uh, I mean, the, the, the last um, uh, Inferno Tower. Here, you can tell he saved one rage for that second Inferno Tower. And he clumped up all of his um, baby dragons there. Now, I would have probably saved one baby dragon for the end. Because you can tell here, this would have been a three star, but he just didn't have the time. And in a regular war, I already, I already talked to Beastman. He would have brought an archer for that hut up in the corner. Um, but he didn't feel like changing it out for the friendly challenge. So, I'll give that three star for him. So, uh, his success rate, I think... He got two three stars and maybe 12 attacks, 10 or 12 attacks, uh, if I remember right. So, it, you know, percentage-wise, it's comparable to other Town Hall 10 attacks. Again, max, ta max Town Hall 10 attacks, you're not going to three-star 30% of the time. Heck, you won't even get 20%. I would say 10, you know, 10% of the time you might get a three-star or less. Um, this is on a fresh base, of course. Fresh base, you don't know what's going on. You don't know where any of the traps are, anything like that. You're not going to get it. There's the nice poison spell. Takes out that other Inferno Tower. Great freeze as well. So, you know, I, I'm. This is a really cool strategy uh, that works um, really well. It's just fun to do. Um, it's obviously going to be hard if you don't practice. Um, it could go wrong very quickly. Again, time was an issue there, so I'm not going to show that. So don't worry. Here is the three star, guys. We made it. You've made it. Um, let me find the three star here. Uh, actually, let me see. Before we get to the 3-star, this is the sort of base you don't want to do. So, if you're ever wondering, should I do Baby Dragons here? No. This is impossible to get a 3-star on this attack. Look at the air defenses. He is not going to be able to get... You're not going to be able to get down 3 air defenses um, with this attack strategy. He was able to get down 2, I think. 2 air defenses down just with the Queen. And that leaves 2 more. 1, the Skeleton spell on this one is not going to work. Why? Because that Inferno Tower is too close to that air defense. Look, there's too many defenses around it. The skeleton spells do nothing, and this is a fail. So th these type of bases will not work for this Queen Walk Baby Dragon strategy, or Queen Walk Dragon. A lot of people have been using that too. So here's the three star. So you stuck to the end. Bravo, my friends. You get a, you get a golden star for sticking to the end. Now... Again, you've seen this. This is the pathing. He's going to let the queen just kind of do her thing. And the reason why this one succeeded, um, he dropped the main bulk of his dra baby dragons a little bit sooner this time. And the last couple raids, if you noticed, he was waiting a little bit too long and thus he ran out of time. The king is able to get almost get that air defense down. Perfect freeze gets the inferno plus the wizard tower. Uh, that's what you really need there. And here comes the little baby dragons with a rage and some loons also to help clear out some of those structures. The loons are actually very powerful and do a lot of damage. Of course, all my expos were down on this one, so it makes a big difference. Plus, my clan castle wasn't the best. I usually have 
um, baby dragons in there and some, you know, archers or witches or minions. So that would definitely pose a threat for air. Anyway, I thought you would enjoy this video. We'll see you next time, my friends. And as always, Halo out.